Life is no cakewalk. Some people handle it differently than others. Most mental health issues are diagnosed to people in the age range of 16 to 44, with the most common age being the early 20s. With this in mind, three young adults provided their stories on how they are affected by and how they relieve their mental health. This is where it starts. The biggest cause to stress, anxiety, and depression in college, at least for me, results from not dealing with my issues before I got to college and then being confronted by those issues in college and just having to figure it out by myself without family around. On a medical level, mental health issues such as anxiety and depression disorders coincide with fatigue, insomnia or hypersomnia, significant changes in weight, respiratory issues, and even heart disease. And for these people, stress, anxiety, and depression have a major effect on their daily lives. Stress, anxiety, and depression affect my daily life by making it very difficult for me to function normally. I feel apprehensive about talking to people about my problems. I feel apprehensive about looking out for new opportunities. And I find a lot less joy in the things that normally bring me a lot of joy. I find it difficult to make friends, and uh, it can be difficult knowing that some days I will wake up and not know what my mood will be like. Anxiety affects my daily life because I find myself overthinking very simple things or having uh, anxiety attacks about nothing. Many of those who struggle with these issues have found that hobbies and distractions are an important way to relieve their emotional state. Music is a great way to relieve stress when you're not feeling very good. I know that I, I have had a difficult time recently and I find it very helpful to either go to the piano lab and learn piano or just pick up a guitar at home or even when you're doing dishes or some sort of chore at, at home to just listen to music that you love, listen to encouraging music and know that you'll get through anything that life throws at you. Music affects my mental health. But... For me, it's like a distraction from the outside world and it gives me something to improve on every day, no matter my state of mind. In order to balance my mental stability, I'd like to set a whole day aside for a break, watch a movie, TV show, play a video game I've been meaning to get around to, and just ignoring most of my obligations and making a note to myself to immediately take back up on them the next morning and to double down. Others find their relaxation through physical activity. I get to just stretch away all of my anxieties through yoga. <laughs> um, something about, I guess, working on your body gets you out of your mind for a little bit. One thing that I tell people who struggle with it and ask me for help, uh, really you should find someone that you can talk to and find an activity that helps you, whether that be coloring, um, writing, reading, yoga, working out, anything. Just try and find that one activity that brings you the, even the slightest bit of joy. But the most important part is finding help. I go to therapy, I talk with friends, and I try to live an overall healthy lifestyle. I work out. I take showers, you know, I have basic hygiene, and you know, those, those go a long way in making your outer self feel better so maybe your inner self will feel better. It'd be uh, simple things like changing their diet to match any uh, deficiencies they might have that they don't know because good dieting information is kind of hard to find. Someone who struggles with depression, whether it be close to what my circumstances are or somebody else's, talk to people. And that's really the hardest part. Talk to people, ask to hang out, even when your brain is telling you, I don't want to go do that, I don't want to go see people, I need to be alone, I need to be in bed, I need to be eating a ton of ice cream. No. Talk to someone about your problems, family, friends, significant other, classmates, professors, counselors. There's help anywhere, and there's help everywhere.